How do you like our room this time, Abby? It's small, what? but it's fine. Not the same as the, the first same. time. The duplex. This is the same as what we had before. Before. I can't remember. Yeah, this is this is the same. But I'm staying at room 30. And it's too cold, so what? let's turn off the curtain first. Happy Sunog sa araw sa Jordan. <sighs> Recovery na naman. Anyways, we're gonna prepare now and we'll bring you to our adventure in Jerusalem. Our last full day here in Jerusalem. My boyfriend, Natar. <laughs> we're out now and we're going to explore a lot of churches today. That's going to be our itinerary. Arthur is with us now. when it comes to churches. And I'm very, very casual today. I'm just wearing flip flops. Just a regular Sabbath. Jordanian dinner to shekels. to visit it again and Arthur has some knowledge on this place so sila yung magkakasang doon ako, tamba lang ulit kasi <laughs> namin ka inayang ka na sila maglibot dito lang I've seen this many times and Happy is really fascinated with this place so I'll just let him and Arthur is very knowledgeable about this place so they are matched
this is how much? 20. And that's what? Um, lemon, lemonada. 20 shekels. For a refreshing taste of life. <laughs> Since we have done everything already and we just finished our visit at the Whaling Wall and the David Tower area. So we have nothing to do. It's Sabbath day. We were looking for some lunch and everything is closed. What? Good thing that the McDonald's near Arthur's Hotel, which is Ibis Styles, is open. I think it's the only thing open. So that's where we had our lunch. And then since we have nothing else to do, we decided to just go back to his hotel and just stay here at the balcony. And this is where we had kuntuhan, catch up, listening to music, classic Filipino music. And now the two are sleeping. <laughs> Matanda. They need a nap. <laughs> So I'm just here at the balcony just chilling and just enjoying this moment because you don't get this every day and whenever you get this experience you treasure it you embrace it you feel it and you create this as a memorable memory and later the Sabbath will be finished I'm sure the street will be filled with people it's always filled with people so 
every Sabbath, people are resting, locals are resting, so that's why there's no music, no restaurants, nothing much happening around, but can't wait to see what's gonna happen later. This is our last full day in Jerusalem, and this is it. <laughs> We're checking some perfumes here. Seems like what we're looking for is here, and Javi's checking the price if it's discounted. back to our hotel took a shower already we packed already well before going to Ranana tomorrow it's going to be the last location we're going to in Israel although hubby is going back to Bangkok tomorrow night but I'll be staying at Ranana and also Arthur for the work part of this trip until Tuesday so today was just a very chill Jerusalem day which is also a Sabbath day you know it's it's Saturday so all shops are closed a lot of people are at their homes or with their families and probably resting and we we experienced it and yeah like what we shared it was difficult to find an open restaurant where you can have lunch and good thing that McDonald's is open so for dinner I think it started to open things around 8 or 8 30 or something like that I wasn't sure but we just keep on going around Jerusalem the old city and we even explore the residential part in the north of where we're staying you know we ended up going back to the old city again so it was around 8 almost 8 p.m. where we start Arthur and I started feeling hungry and so we started looking for a restaurant and then while walking we saw the Chinese restaurant where hubby and I saw the other night and we said that maybe we should try that and for some reason we just saw it again and we decided to go there and apparently the restaurant is quite expensive what? the price is it's pricey and so we were hoping that the food is going to be okay good because we it, it reminded us of our experience in brazil where we tried a chinese restaurant just to change the type of food that we're eating and then it ended up just 
Okay, so the Chinese restaurant here, we only ordered lemon chicken and sweet and sour pork and also fried rice, you know, typical Chinese restaurant food. It was okay, just okay. But I wouldn't say it's bad because I, I enjoyed the food. Maybe I was just missing rice, you know, as Asians, we always look for, uh, especially Filipino, we always look for rice. And so we just walked around again and looked for some gelato and we did and we did find one and we had some while enjoying the last evening in Jerusalem together with the crowd because everyone was just going out around 9 p.m. almost 10 there's still a lot of people outside what? so it was it was it was a very chill slow and fun day on our last day spending here I think I'll still be back in Jerusalem during the work part so it's just gonna be going back and forth Ranana maybe Tel Aviv or Jerusalem because we're gonna go to different places but we'll see all right that's it for tonight thank you for watching this video and see you on the next one good night Time to say goodbye to Jerusalem. Pupunta kami ngayon sa sa type. Lalakad ako sa highway. Super pabundok na. Pero mas mainit kahapon nung naglakad tayo. So nandito na po kami sa garden. Ito lang pinunta namin dito, makapunta lang kami dito. Ito yung buka mo. Mama ganda lang ako. And we are back. We are back. Wala. Pat somewhere over the rainbow.